Happy New Year, everyone. The Augment Code team working on Augie the CLI have dropped so many features over the past few months that I haven't talked about, so let's catch you up. Okay, first up, let's make sure we're on the latest version. We can go Augie dash dash version to see. At the time of this recording, I'm at 0 0.13. If you're not, you can go npm install dash g at augment code slash Augie to install the latest stable version. You can also add at pre-release to the end of this to install the pre-release version, which may have some additional features, but it might not be as stable as the stable release. And if you're experiencing issues with the pre-release version, you can always install the stable again by running the same install command without the pre-release. Okay, now that we have that, let's get started with all the cool features. The first one I'm gonna talk about is augie-resume. If you submit this, augie will load all the sessions for your workspace. Here we can select all the previous sessions I have. Selecting one will activate the session so you can pick up where you've left off before. Inside augie, you can also go slash sessions to see the previous sessions there as well. Let me just show you that again because I didn't zoom out to see can actually see a bit more context here, your last message to help you decide. Similarly to that, if you have closed your session, you will see a tip here. Um, you can use Augie session continue or Augie session resume, as well as Augie dash C to continue from where you just quit out of. So your last closed session in that project, that's the same as Augie dash dash continue will do the same thing. If for whatever reason you want to see all the sessions are actually stored in your dot augment folder in the sessions folder here. Um, they're in JSON files, so you'll see all of them from every workspace in that folder there. Okay, next up, let's get to some about the actual prompt box. The way I write most of my prompts, if I want to edit them, is I actually go control O, which opens up the uh, prompt in your preferred editor. So I have NeoVim here. I can do NeoVim stuff, but there's also some new stuff in the actual uh, native prompt box itself. We now have uh, undo and redo. So if you go control forward slash, it will undo and then control Y will redo. Press ESC twice and you can clear the prompt box as well. Next, we have a new mode, ask mode. If you go slash ask, it will enter ask mode. You can see it by the hashtag sign here. You can also put in the hashtag symbol to get into that ask mode as well. You Here you can just ask a question and it will limit the amount of tool calls that are available to Augie. So to make sure it doesn't edit any files, generally you'll get answers quicker this way. It will still do uh, tool calls to get context. Next up, a feature I really like and use all the time is queuing prompts. So say you have a long agent running here and just tell it to read every file. And then we can say, write hello world in console, and this will be added to the queue. The way this queue works is once the current agent turn is completed, the next in line thing from the queue will get sent to the agent. So as soon as this finishes, which looks like it's very soon, we'll see write hello world in console to be sent to the agent. There we go. Um, and then similarly, the next one, we can keep adding stuff here and you can go slash queue to edit the queue at any time. Let's delete these. Um, there we go. Okay, next we have bash mode. I really like this one. If you put in an exclamation mark, you'll see now it's in bash mode here. And here we can write any shell command. So I'm just gonna say echo hello, um, and it will execute that shell command. Um, I normally use this to like open the directory in Finder. Um, you, can, you can really do any bash command from here that you want, ls as well. The, now note that the agent does not have visibility on this, but you could always just highlight, copy, paste, and send that if you want. There is also slash bash. So if I've told the agent to run a command or the agent runs a command itself and, and I want visibility on all the bash processes the agent has run, I can go slash bash and it will list all the background processes here. We can navigate and kill them with uh, x X or enter or A to kill all of them. Okay, this next one has been around for a while, but we have slash commands. I have a bunch of slash commands here, like no slop. Um, all your slash commands you can find either in dot augment slash commands here. Have a look at my no slop command, remove AI code slop. 
Um, yeah, it just saves you having to write repeated prompts the whole time. Um, this is th these commands are also cross compatible with any commands you have in dot Claude as well. You can actually have uh, parameters and arguments going to these slash commands, which you can read more about on our docs. So they can be more than just static prompts. Now this next one is an absolute powerhouse, a feature I was skeptical of its value at first, but it's proven to be super powerful and useful, and that is subagents. I find myself always asking Augie to parallelize work with subagents, so we can give a sample prompt to just tell it to use subagents to investigate room for improving code quality. This is just a random example here. And I found Augie actually makes like custom profiles for each sub agent to go in different paths and with a different prompt for each one. So you get a bunch of different results and then you get a consensus at the end with Augie choosing the best of each sub agent to give you a final answer. Um, you can see here we've generated a bunch of sub agents, investigate main process, investigate renderer, uh, shared package, test configs. Yeah, really cool stuff there. Next, we have image support. If you go slash image, you can attach an image. You just enter a path or you can drag and drop a file from Finder into here and it will add the path like this and then press enter. The image will be attached and included with the next message. You can ask it anything you want or give it more context on maybe a screenshot from your app or any supplementary images that may help. Now there's also an inbuilt slash status command where you can see all the guidelines you have in this current agent, some rules, as well as any MCP servers that you have in, uh, in the context right now. And we also have some more ways you can use Augie outside of Augie itself, outside of maybe the terminal. Firstly, we have ACP mode, which is the agent client protocol um, where it enables you to use the Augie agent in in applications like Zed. Um, you can see a bit more info in our docs, but it's as easy as adding this configuration into Zed. Also works with JetBrains and NeoVim plugins, Code Companion and Avante. We now also have an Augie SDK in TypeScript and Python. So that lets you write scripts and automations utilizing the Augie agent as an SDK like this. It's really easy to get started. Just set it up with a model and you can send prompts to it like that. Okay, that's all I had today, but that's definitely not it. I think next month the CLI is actually going to be releasing a whole bunch of other features, so I'll make sure to update you when that happens. Enjoy.